It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. I am on a roll today. This is the fifth story, but you know, I didn't do any content over the weekend and I was like feeling it today and there was so much to catch up on and so many crazy stories and this is definitely one that we need to talk about. And so let's start from here. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys? I hope you're having a great day. Um, we're coming up on the eve of um, a humongous holiday here if you celebrate Christmas Eve and we've had some stuff happening in the 90 Day Fiance world. Now last night, the latest episode of 90 Day Fiance, if you watch it, holy crap, you had um, prenups, visas denied, you had strip clubs, you had um, fights. Um, you had a couple talk screaming about each other, having kids and not going to church. I mean, last night was filled with a lot of stuff. Oh, and another family that got told about kids and the parents told them to come back home to Turkey. I mean, last night's episode was chock full of stuff and a woman going to Costa Rica while her boyfriend is in town for 90 day for, not, for 90 days. And she acts like, um, a piece of not so nice person not being very nice to him, understanding that he's in a foreign country while she's, you know, gallivanting in Costa Rica, but I digress. Okay. So, but this is a piece from the previous season of 90 Day Fiance the other way. Paul and Karini. Now, Paul and Karini have been on a couple seasons of 90 Day Fiance the other way. He had attempted to actually get a visa and get, um, become a citizen to live and marry uh, Karini in Brazil. But you know, that didn't work out because of old Polly's record and apparently he had something related to threats on his record which denied his ability to get a visa to become a citizen in Brazil. So, Karini has, doesn't speak the language. He doesn't always speak the best language. They often had, they often had to communicate through like an app or a text app. And um, one of their sticking points was that Karini still talked to men um, while he was with her. He was always asking for DNA tests. She had, she was accepting money from foreign guys, even though they were technically together. She got really pregnant at one point and he moved down there and then it got messy and he's kind of a bum. Like, I don't even know if he has a job. He is a little bit off his rocker. He is always accusing her of cheating, um, bringing up the fact that he needs a DNA test because he constantly thinks that she's sleeping around on him. So their relationship has been rocky from the go. And they have a little boy named Periri. 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 <laughs> Sorry. A little boy um, that they have together. And she is now living in Kentucky um, with Paul. And apparently in the last few months, they have been having a, a very rough go of it. She, um, in September wanted to get a divorce and not November wanted to get a divorce. They have reconciled multiple times, but now he says that she took off and he's been documenting it on his Instagram. And then last night he went on live with who John Yates. Who, if you don't follow him on Instagram, it's at John Yates 327 TV. I am so glad that he catches some of the stuff because if he didn't, I would miss it. But a lot of you were like, Katie, you have got to talk about this. So I want to show you a clip of what he <laughs> has been doing over um, documenting. And this is from John's Instagram. He caught it, but Paul live streamed this earlier. I think it was last night. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Uh, left my bathroom here. Her and Blake uh, did this apparently. She had black hair and they told her she couldn't have blue hair. But uh, she apparently did this uh, and then she left with Blake. I guess she was going to freak out or something. But yeah, our house is just totally just a wreck of stuff here. And look, look at this. There's even a diaper on the floor. But she just, just literally just took the baby. I have the car seat, so I guess she just held in the seat. I don't know. But she took the baby and ran off with Blake. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm dealing with this right now. So, um, I'm going to have to go down and deal with the course tomorrow. It's very sad and unfortunate videos. Okay. So he's like, says that she ran off with a man with like basically Smurf colored hair and she left a dirty diaper on the floor 
And then there was a second one. Hold on one second. He says she also got a tattoo and she decided that she wasn't going to take care of it. And so he did this really weird live stream, which again was caught by John and I'll show you. Um, where he talks about how, you know, he, he cares about her and he needs to get her a new, um, you know, he needs her to take care of her tattoo and she's literally ignoring him, not listening to him, rocking back and forth and humming. And he is just rambling at her. And again, John caught this one too and put it on his Instagram. Cleaning it. And uh, I'm really concerned as we get infected, but she says I'm stupid. And apparently tattoos don't need to be cleaned. They don't need to be bandaged. And I'm very concerned about her arm. But she's just been in here just humming and singing now. All right, Karini, I'm going to go to the store and get you some stuff, try to help you treat your tattoo, okay? Okay, Karini, I'm going to the store, right? Okay? Will you at least acknowledge me? Can you please acknowledge me, Karini? Please acknowledge me. I'm going to go to the store, get some treatment for your tattoo. I highly advise you use it. I know you said you don't want to use any ointments and you don't want to clean your tattoo, but if you don't clean your tattoo and put ointments on it... Okay. So basically, he's trying to like make her paint her out to be like, I don't know, insane or something because he says that she's ignoring him and he's not listening and she's just humming there. Actually, I just saw a mother singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to her uh, son and was trying to ignore the uh, man that is wildly filming her and going on Instagram live. I'm sure she was probably like, ah, thanks, Paul. Thanks for putting this on Instagram Live for the 37th millionth time. So then it just, this this couple, they, they're back and forth. They're bop. It's, I feel really bad for Karini. She's in the United States. She doesn't know anyone. Well, so then he goes on Instagram Live and he is talking to, so there's the bathroom where he says that she did her hair and she left it a mess and so he goes, she goes on Insta, he goes on Instagram live last night and he talks to John Yates and it's so hard to follow. It's like a half an hour of him rambling on about Karini and how she's dating this guy or she's not dating this guy, this guy named Blake, who she's been talking to since before he got married to Karini and that he is a personal trainer and he's a musician and he just wants to be famous and he's not really interested in um, Karini, he just wants to be on the show and that he wants to have babies with Karini and that he, his wife hangs out with him and he doesn't understand why she hangs out with him and that she should have girlfriends and that Blake is just interested in getting together with her and they're going to go out and have fun. And it really is like, it's so hard to follow. He says that she's suicidal, that she's not going, she's not taking her medication. He's accusing her of needing to be in a psych, psych ward, um, that she's not seeing her therapists, that she's not taking care of herself, that she has postpartum, that she's trying to harm herself. He is like so all over the place. He's accusing her of everything. He's like, I pay for everything. I give her everything. She's trying to claim that I did domestic violence. I'm not violent with her. Oh wait, well the one time she also said I hit her, but then I said, no, I don't, I never do that. And it's like, what? What? So he's claiming that he, she ran off with Blake, this musician. And then he, okay. So then she, hold on. Then he posts this, which is a photo of her sitting at side. Oh, here, let me blow this up for you. Of her, and, he, and this was again grabbed by John. Of her sitting outside of a domestic violence shelter and basically saying that she doesn't want to treat her tattoo and she's going to somehow be at the center smiling with her son. Um, and John wrote, wow, three pa Paul posts in a, is, in a row. It really must be Christmas. Paul posted these after he was live and quickly removed. Loosely translated, Kareen is telling Paul that she hates him. She's going to stop following him, that she doesn't trust him, and that she didn't have the ointment Paul was ref and that she didn't have the ointment that Paul was referring to on the live, but she washed it so it's fine to leave her alone because he's never going to change and they shouldn't be on live IG talking about her. And there's a picture of her smiling with their son online at some type of violent center. W what this all means is whatever, right? So I don't really blame Creamy if I had to be 
with this guy who is constantly going off all the time, um, I would also probably be like, Paul, I hate you. Um, and she's stuck with him in Kentucky. So he was so all over the place. Like, just to give you an idea, he said, um, here are some of the things that he has said about her. Hold on a second. Uh, he said in the live with, with John, he said, he's been talking, he's been talking to her. I caught him back before we got married. So they've been friends before we got married. She told me that she's feeling a little uncomfortable because he was talking about wanting to have a kid with her. I, I, was almost like if you're if we're like swingers and I said no we're not swingers and I really don't like the fact that he's talking about wanting to have a kid so then what happened was she went to go get a tattoo I had the baby and the baby was hungry and he's breast he needs breast milk so I was on my way to get her at the tattoo parlor and she said no no I'm already done I left so I found out she was with Blake and she was at Blake's house so <sighs> then she apparently goes home dyes her hair blue and runs off with the baby this all sounds very rational, right? No. So then Karine, she posts this, which is in Portuguese. And she says, I want to make clear that I didn't run away with another man. No one knows what I go through and the way Paul lied about me on a live show. And I must be strong and seek my rights. I will not talk about my personal life. I never told Paul that he won't see the baby. On the contrary, I have proof that I said that Paul is, um, can see him and has a right to see his son. And um, she basically said, do not accuse me without knowing my personal life problems and not my, and have not spoken with me. So she was like really angry. And now she's on like Instagram with her story debating on whether or not she's going to go live to share her side of the story. And it's like, I almost feel really bad for her because I'm guessing she's like stuck in Kentucky with this guy who is extremely manipulative, controlling. He seems to have some anger issues. And it's like, he's always got to paint this picture of her being crazy. Like she's not on her medication. She's doing this, she's doing that. And he never does anything wrong. And truth be told, there could have, there could be some of that going on, but at the same time, I don't know if you had to live with that guy, how would you be feeling? I mean, he is putting all of their stuff online. She is, and painting her as the monster, like basically taking away any sort of power she has and we're just supposed to believe it. Watching the, the video is still on John's um, Instagram. So if you want to go check it out, um, you can see it in his stories. It's probably not going to be up there for much longer. He does sometimes take what he take his lives and then post them on to his YouTube channel. But if you want to try to catch it, it's like 30 some minutes long and you can tell that John is having such a hard time keeping a straight face. He is like trying to be empathetic, but then at the same time, you can kind of tell that he's like, whoa, this guy's being a weirdo. Like, what are we doing here? Um, and I just hope that wherever she is, whatever she's doing, that she's safe. Because I feel like if she were to go home and she has to go home to that kind of chaos all the time, when the house is a complete mess like that, like that's super gross that the house is really messy like that. And I hope that's not um, normal for them. But some of my subscribers said that it's always really messy like that. I don't know. But Paul should probably, I agree with Karini, like he should stop keep putting this all online. Like why does he need to put all of this online? Is he trying to build a fan base and an argument for why he's a better person than she is? I can't imagine any spouse doing this to another spouse. It almost feels abusive to do this to someone as a way to sort of build um, like a, an argument or to get people to attack her. And that just seems like, how does she, how will she ever feel safe in a house if he's doing this kind of stuff and blasting her and embarrassing her? And he admits that he's impulsive and he doesn't think and she doesn't want me to put stuff on there. So I don't know. And I'm over here like torn, trying to figure out why they're doing this. And I'm like, who are you on? Are you on uh, Team Baby? Are you on Team Paul? Are you on Team Karini? Are you on Team Please Get a Divorce as soon as possible and go back to Brazil and get safe? That's kind of where I'm at. Like, I hope this marriage finally ends. All right, you guys, I will be back later, but if you have questions, concerns, comments, leave them below. If you want to check me out on Instagram, I'm at without a crystal ball on Facebook at facebook.com slash without a crystal ball and on Twitter at W O A C B official. All right. I think this is my last one for the day because tonight 
is Christmas uh, present wrapping and watching the movie Elf with my hubby. Hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.